morning I'm coming into work and I'm thinking of this metaphor that I wanted to share with all of you. And it's in relation to investments that we typically find in 401ks, 403bs, you know, especially when you go to work for a company and they say, hey, we got this 401k, do you want to participate? And here's how you participate. And do you want them to pick all the investments for you? you know, it's a huge mutual fund company. You just want their expertise and have them do everything for you. And most people go, yeah. Well, what year are you retiring? Well, I'm gonna retire in the year 2035, let's say. So you say, good, you guys take care of it, you manage it all as if I'm retiring in 2035 and I don't have to think about it anymore. And there's something really appealing to that. But there is a, is there a potential problem here that we really need to know about? And I would say, yes, you want to know about this potential problem. And the issue is in how they allocate or how they divide the portfolio up. Are they taking risks or doing things that you may look back and go, man, that was a huge problem. Now, the way to explain this is that we have different factors that drive your investment returns. And I'm just gonna focus on the stock side of the portfolio just for a second here. If we look at stocks, there are different market segments. When we hear about the stock market, we think it's just this big market where you buy stocks there are different market segments. Now, number one, you might have small companies, very, very different than large companies. Historically, small companies, 83% of the time in 20 year periods, small companies have a higher return than large companies do. If we look at growth companies versus value companies, we see that 96% of the time, value companies have a higher return than growth companies do. Now, that doesn't mean that you just go and stick all your money in small value stocks up in this area, but that's where we'd expect the highest long-term return. What we know from academic research is that when we diversify, when we own all of these segments, what we can do is significantly reduce the risk of the portfolio. If we put all of our money here, what we know is we have the lowest long-term expected return. Now, what do most fund companies do when they put your money in these plans? this area right here and you go well, why it's because most investors are familiar with that area if i ask you to name a company right now and just come up with the name of any company chances are really good that you would name you would name a company in this area because they would be familiar companies to you they're big they're well known but based on what you just saw here may not be the best idea from a long long-term investment strategy but it's also a problem and can be a huge problem from a risk standpoint. We all know that we shouldn't put all our eggs in one basket. And when we're putting it all in that basket, we could be taking huge risks. Why? Well, you could go back in history and see 20 year periods with no return in this market segment. Try getting people to put up with a five year period of no returns. <laughs> Forget it, 20 years you'd be going, ah, I can't even retire. Well, Morningstar is a big company that actually puts together these documents on what is going on inside of investment portfolios. And what they do is they come up with this idea called a style box, and you'll see it in just a second. If this box is what we're putting most of the money in, that means this box right here. That box right here corresponds to this one right here. If we look at this box right here, that corresponds to that one right there. So I just want to get an idea what that looks like and we'll look at it in just a second. But here's the metaphor. Let's say that you were a contractor and you were thinking about building a house, not an investment portfolio, but a house. And you were in Middle Tennessee and Middle Tennessee, a lot of times in the summer, you may go a long period of time where you see no rain whatsoever. So you're looking at building this house and you go, okay, Mrs. Jones, we have your house here. That's it. And Mrs. Jones goes, hey, that's great. I love it. When can I move in? And she moves in. Well, all of a sudden, what's this house missing? I know it's a bad picture, but what's it missing? It's missing the roof. You know, so we don't have any roof because, well, it doesn't rain here. Why do we need a roof? Yeah, everybody knows at some point you're gonna really wish you had a roof. You really wanna make sure all the parts of the house are present. If you go in there and you don't put an air conditioner on the side of the house and all of a sudden we get to the summer, you're hot. It's bad. It's not good. You wish you didn't build a house without an air conditioner. 
Well, what's going on with the investing world? A lot of times they're missing asset categories or they don't have them well represented. Let's say that you have a 401k and Voya is the company managing the 401k. And all of a sudden you're looking at the 401k and go, yeah, I'll put all my money in that fund. It says I'm retiring in 2035. Yeah, let me just put all my money in there. But let's say you're that person that watched this video and you go, well, wait a minute. There's not much of any money as a percentage. These are percentages in small value companies. There's hardly any money down there. Wait a minute, this portfolio is incomplete. Or what if you look at Fidelity and you go, well, they got a 20, they're a really big company. Uh, I know who they are. And you go, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Or if I look at Vanguard and go, so, well, gee, there's next to nothing in that asset category. Then you start to go, whoa, wait a minute, maybe I ought to be doing something a little different. Now, in the 401k world, they know what I'm telling you, and they have something called 404c. And that is basically a, a regulation or a ruling stating that if they give you a lot of other mutual funds to invest in, they give you small company funds and value funds and international value funds and so on and so forth, you can't come back at them later and say, you didn't give me enough diversification. You didn't give me enough choices. You can't come back at them if all of a sudden what I say actually comes to fruition where most of your money is in this area and that area goes for a long period of time with no return. This is why it's so important as an investor that you get educated about this and maybe you're not gonna be the one that knows how to put together a portfolio for your 401k plan, but you sure want to have somebody on your side that does know this stuff. And many times it's not the vendor that set up the 401k plan. Otherwise, they wouldn't have pushed you that direction. This is why coaching and education is so important. And that's why we spend so much time doing it. Hope this helps and hope you learned something from this video.